Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otzi and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Today we are back here in our tower area on top of the, uh, the farm tower. We started a few episodes back and today we will work some more on here. And I promise I will not sing, but we will get all the colors that we need and for that we will start here uh, with uh, two tall flower farm and cocoa bean farm for the brown color then we finish the uh, the nether tunnel uh, to the uh, other location where we will have another flower farm and that ties all the farms the color farms together so well, let's build something up here and then i show you how this two tall flower farm works the first module is now complete and it's not that complicated as you can see down here below we have a hopper line with a minecart hopper um, on top of it so we can have a full block and uh, the items that drop on there are sucked up down into the uh, hopper chain which goes all the way along here and then down here at the back into the sorting system then here on top um, the uh, minecart goes under the, the, the flower and uh, switching this lever will produce flowers and the minecart picks up all the uh, created flowers eventually they get sucked in down and sorted out and the way this uh, works is basically the lever powers the piston pushes the redstone block down powering this redstone line pushing this observer up creating a clock and then here in the back we have the the hopper line to uh, supply the bone meal so let's build up the uh, other modules and then we can do the uh, cocoa bean farm on this side that was quite an easy and fast farm so let's do the cocoa bean farm which is even simpler i would say and for that we place some jungle logs here at the back and right under here is the rail so let's go to here and then we have a bit of stone stair and then we have some coca beans plant them and let them grow and then we just harvest them they will drop down and be picked up by the minecart rail which I need to place again Wait. let's place it here and there it goes so two farms done then next on the list is the nether tunnel to the flower farm that's the one that goes from our base towards uh, a spawn and we also will uh, hook up the uh, the ink farm and that's where we get the uh, leg die from so let's move on with nether tunnels 
Initially, I thought doing a time lapse of the build up of the tunnel, but probably this is better. I'm particularly fond of the transition from the glass uh, tunnel to the more detailed uh, underground tunnel. And here to the left, we have the exits to the ink farm, the flower farm that we will build in a moment, and all at the end, the way to spawn, which shortly before the portal even enters a new nether biome. So let's step through this portal that is labeled Flower Farm and see where it leads us. Ooh, it's a flower forest! How lucky of us! So uh, let's put down some items that I find in my uh, inventory and then we start building flower farm, I guess. So this will be very similar to the uh, blue orchid flower farm that we have built in the swamp biome, uh, but it will be a big, bit larger as uh, I want to get more than uh, one flower type. So basically all the flower types that uh, produce colors that are useful that I don't have in another fashion. So let's do that and uh, then we will see. The redstone on this blue orchid farm is simple as all pistons are within the length of one redstone signal. With the large version, it is a different story. A redstone line can only be powered for at max 16 blocks, and this farm has a length of around 100, and all pistons should fire simultaneously. While I realize that this is not strictly necessary for the farm to work, only the pistons on either side moving the floor must be properly in sync. It makes everything more complicated as the floor shifting needs to be paused in order to wash away all the flowers. I thought I was being clever in using pistons and slime blocks to distribute the signal with the same delay everywhere. While it is working, the piston along with the repeaters introduce a delay that is longer than one tick of my clock, which means that ticks are missed and the shifting is slower. Let's come up with a simpler solution. Now this looks much simpler. Uh, in the end, I went for a simple redstone line with repeaters where I just have to take care that uh, each of these uh, piston arms that uh, uh, connect the signal upwards um, are on the same delay, so uh, all pistons uh, are pistoning in sync. That's why uh, this one has two as over there is one more repeater and then I also needed to uh, invert the signal here and over there in order for the uh, pistons up there uh, to not be uh, uh, or to be retracted in off state so that uh, the water flow can actually uh, uh, push everything down here on this side and then over here we have another circuit which comes out from the slow clock going over here um, basically this is a 
pulse shortener uh, as we have a, a powered red signal and we only want to get a short pulse out of it and then uh, with this um, delay circuit uh, I lengthen the pulse again in order um, to power the uh, pistons on this side uh, so the uh, water can quickly wash everything to this side where we have uh, a water stream going all the way to the end and then at this side turning around and then I have some C pickles here to align the items on this side uh, of the water stream uh, before they go uh, here over the hoppers which are not yet set and I had a bit of difficulty with the sea pickles as they're giving off light, uh, thereby melting normal ice. So I had to replace the normal ice that I use basically all the way in this corner with, um, with packed ice, which does not melt. And then here we have another redstone line which powers the... Uh, the dispensers for the bone mill which is hooked up uh, to, to this side here so um, let's give it a try and see if it actually uh, works and we probably can see it uh, best from up top and then everything is washed away real quick and then we basically have a long pause before the uh, the piston shoving starts again. But now to finish off this episode, um, I will set the uh, the the uh, the sorter. Uh, that's what I wanted to do and then also uh, uh, do the wall design uh, up to there and uh, the building up top we will do another time. Rainbow project is complete. I put in the walls with these uh, dark oak uh, windows where uh, there is open air outside um, or just plain wall where there is hill and I have set up the uh, sorter um, the uh, fleur de valley or lil de valley is still missing don't get that much but uh, all the uh, other flowers are in place so probably we will not use the uh, red tulip um, for red color um, but maybe uh, as a tulip and with that i'm at the end hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you soon in the next one goodbye